Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Start earring is really popular, and today I would like to show you how to make this rose petal start earring with the prong setting right in the middle. Are you ready? Let's get started. So we are going to starting with the stone, and you can download the stone at the link uh, in the description below. Just need to sign up the newsletter. And once you download it, open it, and you can change to whatever size you want by 3D scale with the gumball. If you want it to be exact size, what you can also do is to um, using a 3D scale and make sure your vertex is on at the bottom for the all snap, and then you can type it for whatever size you want. So let's say I want 3.5 millimeter, and all I need to do is move it back to the center with the line centers. Just type it zero here. Okay, so this will be our stone here. You can move it to whatever uh, place you want. As long as they are right in the center, the height is, doesn't really matter. And I would like to start in making the prong first. So let me lock the stone here. So we won't accidentally change it. And I would like to have uh, a straight line go like this. And in my uh, course, I explain a lot about the differences between the song setting and also um, for the rendering in terms of a way of a model. And I am always uh, using the way for the song setting or for the jeweler to set a stone on it. Um, it's not necessary just for the rendering. So we simply want to pipe in this guy about this size. The prong size here seems is a little bit weak for this stone size. So, and I want to increase it. If you wanted to know like what is the proper size for the prong, there's a weight of a setting, there's a minimum, but there's actually no maximum. It depends on, you know, the look that you like. So I simply want to have a six prong. So let me just go ahead to polar array and type it center is zero and I wanted to have uh, 360 degree for six of them and that's what I get there. We also need a rail to holding all the prong there so I'm gonna lock the prong one more time here and then coming into the front view I'm going to just draw a square or something like this. I might want to tilt it a little bit but we may not need it um, to tilt it. Uh, it really depends on the petal that we create. Maybe we're just going to trim the bottom all together. So now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then simply coming into the awful view, I'm going to use under the surface and you have something called revolve. Okay. And then you want to pick up this curve and we want to revolve axis it's starting from the zero coming in the front view, holding the shift key and hold like this. And so uh, this profile is going to follow the axis we just defined and go 360 degree. And then so we'll get a surface like that. Now let me unlock all of them and this is what we get there. Now let's work on the pedal and I'm gonna come into other layer so I can lock the layer so it won't uh, accidentally to work on those. All right, so the petal is going to look like this. They are going to looking something like this. And make sure I want to go back to the end point here. And of course, you if they don't look good, you can always adjusting something like that. Maybe I want to flare out a little bit. So go something like this. They can be as organic as possible. So um, you can be creative. And um, if you don't like it, we just change it later. And let me just move it to the side. Maybe that's easier for you to see. So I simply want to snap in into somewhere close to the middle and draw a petal like that. But this petal is kind of flat and it's not organic enough. So what I'd like to do is to rebuild this one. And we want to rebuild into a degree three and we don't need a lot of point. Uh, let's take a look on the eight point. It should work. 
And then on the bottom one here, I want them to be more narrower. And on the top, you can make them fatter if you want to, to have something like this. Okay, so now I have this one here. So what I wanted to do is moving this shape and go in between here and there. So we wanted to do come to the transform, you have orient to point. So this will be orient from this point to this reference point. You've got two reference points. And I don't need to copy, but I do want to scale 3D. So we want to uh, snapping into the quadrant to the quadrant there. So we got something like that. Next, what we wanted to do is we want to split this guy by this guy. And we also want to split that guy by this guy. So you got one, one, two, three, four, four different curve here. And um, it may or may not work. It's always uh, worth to try uh, the command before we do any changes. So we're going to do the loft and going to pick up all of them. And then that's what you see there. But you see this is an opening. I mean, turning into the black color, it's easier to see. So you do have an option there because you got opening there. You want to close the loft and then you click OK. Then we'll get something like this. And if you don't like that, you can always change the original curve. So for example, this two curve, it's going up a little bit, this two curve. It's going down a little bit. So follow that kind of a similar uh, direction and we can uh, do it one more time. This time, that's recorded history and we can do the loft and just need to pick up all of them and close the loft. Then you will have something like that. And again, if you don't like it, you can always bring up the control point and they will keep following, right? So. Now we have that, that will be our first paddle. So what we need to do is moving in close to what we have there. Let me hide this one and we can take a look on this one. Okay. And if you need to be thicker or fatter and you can kind of edit it there, it's an organic shape. So it doesn't really matter, you know, if it is symmetrical, that's the first one. And then I would like to uh, do the second one by using the rotate. And we want to rotate it, copy equal, yes. I do not want it to like be a certain specific degree. But I kind of have idea for six of them. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so with this arrangement, if you because they are more like a polar array, and if you look at look at the render view, that is not as pretty, right? So what I like to do is to arrange them. It's even more organic shape, like and getting bigger and bigger. So this one is a little bit bigger, and of course you can adjust the angle if that doesn't fit for you. So that one will coming out a little bit. This one will even a little bit bigger than the second one like this. And you might want to come out a little bit. So it's kind of uh, manually to working on each of the pedal. And then of course you can move the pedal up and down and to see which one work well. So if we take a look on the render view one more time, you will see this might be better. And also you can kind of uh, rotate it if that uh, works for you better. <laughs> then we need to continue it to creating this pedal. So I'm going to using the Rotate tool one more time and making somewhere there in between. And this one actually, I want them to go bigger. You can coming out and they can get thicker if they want to. And once you uh, done your first layer arrangement, then you got this one by rotated and we just keep rotating a bunch of them. And make sure copy equal yes. And this time I want them to go all in between the pedal. 
and keep rearranging until you find the position that's right for you and where on the outside you may want them to open it a little bit more so it will give you more of the layer look okay and once they are finished this is what I did before you will give you that layer looking thing and just have the post in the back then you will finish this earring i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to be a jewelry cat designer stone setting is the must knowledge you have to have but don't worry i have a jewelry cat design stone setting mini course that is completely free for you that will help you to start learning stone setting for jewelry cat we're going to talk about stone setting concept, how to make a prong set, and then show you how to custom make your own prong set. The course sign up link is in the description below. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching and see you next.